In this lesson, we want to find the x-intercepts of a parabola. In order to find where a quadratic equation intersects the x-axis, we need to set y equal to 0 and find the two corresponding x-values. We can then solve by either the factoring method, completing the square, or by using the quadratic formula. Let's illustrate all three of those. We want to find the x-intercept of y equals x squared plus x minus 6. Notice we let y equals 0, so we have 0 equals x squared plus x minus 6. If we could factor this, let's see, x plus 3, x minus 2. If we check this using the FOIL method, x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 is negative 2x, 3 times x is 3x, negative 2x plus 3x is 1x, and 3 times negative 2 is 6. Therefore, we have 0 either equals x plus 3, or 0 equals x minus 2. We subtract 3 from both sides, x equals negative 3, or x equals positive 2. So these are the places that it crosses the x-axis, negative 3, 0, and x equals 2, 0. Let's continue. y equals x squared minus 5x minus 4. Once again, let's let y equals 0. So we now have the equation 0 equals x squared minus 5x minus 4. Let's use completing the square. x squared minus 5x equals, and if we move the negative 4 to the opposite side, we get 4. We want to add something. We take half of negative 5, so that would be negative 5 halves. We square it. We get 25 over 4. So let's add 25 over 4 to the right side, left side, and let's add 25 over 4 to the right side. So we can factor left side as x minus 5 halves squared. And let's see, if we multiply by 4 over 4, that'll give us 16. I'm sorry, 4 over 4. So that'll give us 16 fourths. 16 plus 25, that gives us 41 over 4. Let's take the square root of both sides. So we have x minus 5 halves equals plus or minus the square root of 41 over the square root of 4. Well, 4 in the denominator, the square root of 4 is 2. So if we add 5 halves to both sides of the equation, we wind up with x equals 5 halves plus or minus the square root of 41 over 2. And these would be the two places that our graph would hit the x-axis. Try one more example. y equals x squared minus x plus 2. Let's let y equals 0. So we have 0 equals x squared minus x plus 2. Let's use the quadratic formula here. a, b, and c. a has a value of 1. b has a value of negative 1. c has a value of 2. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a so we have plus 1 inside the square root negative 1 squared would be positive 1 negative 4 times 1 times 2 would be negative 8 gives us negative 7 We have 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 7, all divided by 2. Wait a minute, we have a negative inside the square root sign, so not a real number for our solution here. That means if the graph, instead of hitting the x-axis, is either above it or it's below it, and it does not hit the x-axis at all.